O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for it, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Judges, Chapter 2 The Lord's angelic messenger went up from Gilgal to Pokim. He said, I brought you up from Egypt and led you into the land I had solemnly promised to give to your ancestors. I said, I will never break my agreement with you but you must not make an agreement with the people who live in this land. You should tear down the altars where they worship, but you have disobeyed me. Why would you do such a thing? At that time I warned you. If you disobey, I will not drive out the Canaanites before you. They will ensnare you, and their gods will lure you away. When the Lord's messenger finished speaking these words to all the Israelites, the people wept loudly. 
They named that place Bokim and offered sacrifices to the Lord there. When Joshua dismissed the people, the Israelites had gone to their allotted portions of territory, intending to possess the land. The people worshipped the Lord throughout Joshua's lifetime, as long as the elderly men who outlived him remained alive. These men had witnessed all the great things that the Lord had done for Israel. But Joshua, the son of Nun, the Lord's servant, died at the age of 110. The people buried him in his allotted land in Timnath, in the hill country of Ephraim, north of Mount Gish. The entire generation passed away, and a new generation grew up that had not personally experienced the Lord's presence, nor seen what he had done for Israel. And the Israelites did evil before the Lord by worshipping the Baal. They abandoned the Lord God of their ancestors who had brought them out of the land of Egypt. They followed other gods, the gods of the nations who lived around them. They worshipped them and made the Lord angry. They abandoned the Lord, worshipping Baal and the Ashtars. The Lord was furious with Israel and handed them over to robbers who plundered them. He turned them over to their enemies who lived around them, and they could not withstand their enemies' attacks. Whenever they went out to fight, the Lord harmed them, just as he had warned and solemnly vowed he would do. And they suffered greatly. The Lord raised up leaders who delivered them from these robbers, but they did not obey their leaders. Instead, they prostituted themselves with other gods and worshipped them. They quickly turned aside from the path their ancestors had walked. Their ancestors had obeyed the Lord's commands, but they did not. When the Lord raised up leaders for them, the Lord was with each leader and delivered the people from their enemies, while the leader remained alive. The Lord felt sorry for them when they cried out in agony because of what their harsh oppressors did to them. When a leader died, the next generation would again act more wickedly than the previous one. They would follow after other gods, worshipping them and bowing down to them. They did not give up their practices or their stubborn ways. The Lord was furious with Israel. He said, This nation has violated the terms of the agreement I made with their ancestors by disobeying me. So I will no longer remove before them many of the nations that Joshua left unconquered when he died. Joshua left those nations to test Israel. I wanted to see whether or not the people would carefully walk in the path marked out by the Lord as their ancestors were careful to do. This is why the Lord permitted these nations to remain, and did not conquer them immediately. He did not hand them over to Joshua. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 8. So they sailed over to the region of the Gezerim, which is opposite Galilee. As Jesus stepped ashore, a certain man from the town met him, who was possessed by demons. For a long time this man had worn no clothes, had not lived in a house, but amongst the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out, falling down before him, shouting with a loud voice, Leave me alone, Jesus, Son of the Most High God. I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had started commanding the evil spirit to come out of the man. It had seized him many times, so that he would be bound with chains and shackles and kept under guard. But he would break the restraints and be driven by the demon into the desert. Jesus asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion, because many demons had entered into him. And they begged him not to order them to depart into the abyss. Now there was a large herd of pigs feeding there on the hillside, so the demonic spirits begged Jesus to let them go into them. He gave them permission, and the demons came out of the man, going into the pigs, which rushed down the steep slope into the lake and drowned. When the herdsmen saw what had happened, they ran off and spread the news in the town and countryside. So the people went out to see what had happened and came to Jesus. They found the man from whom the demons had gone sitting at Jesus' feet, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the man who had been demon-possessed had been healed. Then all the people of the Jezerim and the surrounding region asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. He got into the boat and left. The man from whom the demons had gone out begged to go with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare what God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the whole town what Jesus had done for him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. The Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance, to do always that which is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day 
to my Lord and Saviour. Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and for evermore. Amen.